This channel and its videos are intended for general audience. Hello everybody, Trapmaster Records 2016 back again and today on a modification session we have two modified items. Very very excited. Very very excited for that. Um, so one of the items is this custom uh, pulley thing that I made for this country crane. That way as you can see it's moving back and forth. So that way in scenes and shots I can move it about any way I like. So that is the Ganji Crane. It's basically a thing with fishing line attached on uh, Trackmaster 2 coupling hooks. And so basically one pulls and the other pushes and it's basically a pulley system on the underside. So let's take a look at that. So right there as you guys can see that's basically it, it's just a pulley thing on there and I'll just turn it you can see one pulls and the other pushes. Also on the other side of the way out I added a I, I added a uh, a head shunt there so that way trains can go in there trains can come out here, they can go in there, that way I'm utilizing those switches um, so that glue really hurt pulling that off of my skin um, so yeah really nice um, got everything glued down, got the glass all glued down, just need to ballast the rest uh, over here, got it all glued down, it looks really really nice um, so I can't wait to do some remakes of uh, Slow Steven, you know that scene where Steven drops off the passengers in the head shunt and then heads back to the bridge to stop Gordon so yeah it looks really really nice so can't wait to do any scenes with that maybe do the scene where Thomas uh, puffs in uh, with Annie and Clarabel when I get to new Annie and Clarabel soon um, with Rebecca coming through like and chuck off some trucks I think that episode was called season 23 or 24 um, and he misses a signal <laughs> So, yeah, lots of opportunities to do some nice scene remakes on that head, little head shot there. Supposed to be, it was supposed to be longer, but I had to cut it down a bit so that straight was supposed to be a full straight back oh, over there. So, that straight there was supposed to be a full straight like it is over here, but I had to cut it down because I didn't want it to go on the bridge. So, it's it looks nice, um, looks really, really nice. So that's the new trap bus head shunt and expect to see a lot of uh, stories happening there kind of chatting points and all that so yeah so the main start of today's modification session is something i wanted to take a look at um also the gantry crane but we already took a look at that so the main start of today's modification station is edward now you're probably saying wait a minute edward looks a little different what in the world did you do well what i've done is i recently got another one of those Thomas's mail delivery Trapmaster push along sets so I took the Thomas chopped him up put his wheels on Edward on Edward and he looks fantastic so here's a little reminder of what Edward used to look like 24 hours ago so as you guys can see uh, you know he has the driving wheel he has the fake wheel the big other wheel 
and the fake front wheel. So what I did was I scrapped all of that in like there. It looks it looks okay. It's not the best thing ever, but I took all this out chopped that wheel off and I made a hybrid of the Trapmaster push along wheels because I wanted to see what those would look like as actual bogey wheels. Now the only problem with that is the wheels can't be taken off of the axle so that kind of stinks so I had to majorly modify this engine a bit. So what I did was in the area of the bottom there as you guys can see I had to cut a hole a little slit inside of the inside of the wheel housing to hold the axle and the wheel so I had to do that it rolls nice it looks really really nice Mattel you could do something like this with the Trapmaster pushing along wheels just do your rivet thing like you do back here um, just do that I mean Mattel this is really really simple if any of Mattel's people are watching I mean you could easily do this and that way you get a accurate depiction of Edward some of that stupid fakey bull crap so um, and also this here was a pain to do this part here this was the hard part of this mod um, I had to figure out a way that way the wheel could move and to screw in the engine to the chassis so that was a pain to do but I did it with a different type of screw and it looks nice I'm kind of spacey in between the both wheels there but um, so my next deal is to get an actual fake wheel not the painted on one and pop it on there to make it look nice uh, so yeah so here's what Edward looks like now I'm gonna do a little swap so here's what Edward looks like now modified very very heavily on the wheelbase and here is the old Edward so let's bring him in so there you go major difference I mean Mattel you could easily do something like this with the push along wheels put them on a high on longer axles and voila you got a Edward that looks realistic and all that but maybe you never know um, with the new motorized people you know the people that, that are in charge of motorized they could easily do something like this I mean it's really really simple just take some motorized we uh, push along wheels pop them on there plus I've been wanting to know what push along wheels would work as bogies so I'm probably not going to do that to Gordon since his front end is so small. Um, Henry, I can't really do that to. Spencer, maybe. I may try that. But Edward, I just wanted to try since, you know, those wheels are kind of more in scale with the Trackmaster 2 actual wheels. They also could have done something like <coughs> Fiery Flynn back in 2015. I mean, they could have done that there and then had a false wheel in the middle or had a small front wheel in the middle like that they, I mean th there's a plethora of prop possibilities they could have done they could have made an actual bogey wheel that went on there uh, but probably it wouldn't work on the hills and kids would probably get mad and stuff like that when it didn't go on the stunt tracks and da -da 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 -da. Um, so yeah I mean tell you have a plethora of possibilities to do with Edward I mean it's it's really not that hard I mean it looks nice 100% sorry took down my own spittle there a bit um, so we're going to run Edward around give him a couple of test runs today and that'll be the end of the video so let's go run Edward around so yeah that's Edward um, I've kind of last things to say on him before we do the run you want to make sure when you do this mod you have the push along uh, uh, chassis under him uh, up as high as possible so what I would recommend is uh, in one of the areas for the riveting they have and the push along um, you put a you put a small washer in between the 
in between the area here and the push along deal so you want to put a basically a washer right here on top of this and then put the push along wheel another thing is you'll have to modify the screw a bit with a longer screw um, so that's another thing so the regular screw that came with a Trapmaster Edward will not work with this mod if you try this mod out and you also want to add a weight in the swiveling bogey that way it does not derail and crash and cause accidents all the time on your layout so let's quit treadering and let's give Edward a run run layout Trapmaster heavily modified chassis of Edward run run layout here we go so there goes modified Edward. See, he looks nice. It looks really, really nice. He may have this thing that he does on the switches. The little kick, as you guys saw. I'm going to bring it in for a closer look. That way you guys can see that little kick he does with that front bogey wheel. Right there, there was that kick. And there, there was that kick. And there, there was that kick. So you may have a problem with that. That's really nothing I can fix because that the bottom of the chassis is hitting the... Uh, bottom of the, the top of the trucks Ooh, it's not in focus there we go I mean he works I never really tried him on hills and I'm probably gonna get another Edward actually soon for uh, the reverse loop on Wellsworth station that way I'm not running this guy on the upper level of the track. I mean he works. I, he works on flat track and some occasional sloping but I mean works well. Alright, then guys for watching this modification station on the gantry crane. 
oops, modified Edward, the head shunt, and don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment on what you guys think of Edward, down in the comment section below, and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification button to be notified of all new videos, thanks for watching, bye bye. Hello, I am Sir Topham Hat, and if you want to watch more videos, click on these links here. And also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of all new videos. Oh, bother that telephone.